How's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm doing a fun little test right now to see who makes the best AI assistant. So right here, I do have the latest version of ChatGPT, ChatGPT 4.0. And then this thing requires a monthly subscription to have access to the most advanced version of ChatGPT of $20 a month. And then right here, I have the latest version of Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro which also costs $20 a month. But at the time I making this video, there actually is a two month free trial you could try. That's what I got. So since I have both of these two chat GPTs or chat AI models side to side, let's do a fun little test on seeing how well it performs in the real world. So the first test here is in fifth generation iPod Nano. And the thing about this iPod Nano that's interesting is it takes a special eye to identify the differences between the fifth generation and the fourth generation because the fifth generation has a gloss texture as you see right here. Meanwhile, the fourth generation is matte. So what I'm gonna do is take a picture using both of these chat models and see who can actually identify the difference. So here is ChatGPT taking that photo and let's ask it, what is it? What kind of generation iPod is this? So let's see what it says. This appears to be an iPod Nano specifically the fourth generation. The fourth generation iPod Nano has a tall, thin body and a larger screen compared to previous models. It also features a click wheel with a menu button in the center, which matches the design seen in your photo. Mm, it said the fourth generation, it's already wrong. Let's see what Gemini has to say. All right, here we go. You can see that's glossy in that photo. All right, let's ask it. Let's see if it could identify it. So this is real time. Uh, let's see how quick it takes to process all this data. Oh, it gave us our result. The image you sent is of an iPod Nano fourth generation. It can be identified by its curved design, two inch screen, and a click wheel with a chrome border. Here are some additional details about the iPod Nano fourth generation. Released in September, 2008. Available in eight colors, black, blue, green, pink, silver, white, red, yellow, and purple. Storage capacities of eight gigabytes and 16 gigabytes. Up to 24 hours of battery life. Features a built-in accelerometer for shake to shuffle and cover flow. All right, it got both of them wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna try one more time, but this time let me take pictures. It keeps thinking it's a fourth generation. Let me try from the back and make it easier for it. How about this one? How about this one? Let's see if it remembers the previous image. The iPod in the image is a fifth generation iPod Nano. It can be identified by its rectangular shape, 2.2 inch touchscreen display, and a stainless steel click wheel. Here are some additional details about the iPod Nano fifth. That's gonna give us the same detail it told us in the past. So, okay, I did fool it, I'll, I'll admit. I, was, I thought I was gonna be clever with this little trickery I was gonna give it, but let's see if ChatGPT can actually identify that as well. So here it is. How about this one with ChatGPT? Let's see how it responds. Ooh, it still thinks it's the fourth generation. This image confirms that it is indeed an iPod Nano, fourth generation. The back of the device, with the distinctive curved design and the positioning of the Apple logo and text, matches the fourth generation iPod Nano's design. This model was available in several colors, including the blue color shown in your photo. Uh, I'm giving a point to Gemini. Even though I was sneaky, I gotta admit, I was trying to fool it, believing that it is a fourth generation. But Gemini was correct, it's the fifth generation. But as a consumer, I like to ask it questions. So a while back ago, I did a comparison video between a DJI gimbal against the Insta360 version. Let's see if it could also give us a good clarification if I give it a screenshot of the thumbnail. Let me ask it, which is better? I'm letting ChatGPT go first on this one. So it does immediately identify it and it uses different sources. All right, so with this image, I'm quite impressed because I didn't say anything. I literally just gave it an image and just asked it which is better and it was immediately able to identify that's the Osmo Ohm 6 and against the Insta360 Flow and gave us its key features from the Insta360 as well as the DJI Mobile 6 key features as well, including the payload as well. Now let's see how uh, Gemini can handle this task. Here, here we go, it's generating a response. The image that you sent is a screenshot of a YouTube title, Insta360 Flow versus DJI Osmo Mobile 6. 
Choosing wisely, here's a quick comparison to help you decide which gimbal is best for you. Overall, the Insta360 Flow seems to be a better choice in most aspects. However, the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 may be a better option if you prefer more compact and portable design. You can watch the full video for more in-depth comparison. So I don't like the fact how Gemini is actually using my image that I gave it to encourage us to watch that video versus ChatGPT actually gave us a lot of information we're looking for because I wasn't asking it to give me information about this video. I was just asking it to identify these two subjects and tell me your opinion or your summary on what do you think be between these two. So I prefer, I kind of do like ChatGPT's respond on here. So I'm giving that point to ChatGPT on this one. Meanwhile, this one's just encouraging me to watch the video. But let's say, for example, you're asking a tech support question. So let's ask ChatGPT, this time using the voice, how do I turn on dark mode? All right, cool. I like the fact that it gave us a bunch of different operating systems, such as Windows, how to do it on Mac, Android, as well as iOS. It even specifies the different apps too. So I'm sure if I specify myself on the product, I'm looking to enable this mode, like a Nintendo Switch, I'm sure it'll have no issues guiding me. But for iPhone, let's see, for iOS, open settings, go to the setting app, display and brightness, tap on display and brightness, select appearance, and then select dark under appearance. That's correct, actually. You can also bring down control center and long hold on the brightness slider as well. So I could have done that. Nonetheless, that will actually guide us exactly what I was asking it to. Let's see how Gemini will handle this. How do I turn on dark mode? Voice recognition on both of them are really good too. So here it is, also broke it down to Android, iPhone, Windows, Mac, and web browsers. I'm sure again, if I specify Nintendo, it will also allow me to see the settings I need to do to enable that as well. But on iPhone, go to settings, tap on display and brightness, and enable select dark mode. So this one's not really right, because if I go on the iPhone right now and actually try its advice, I go on brightness, display and brightness, and there's nothing here. ChatGPT got it right because it says appearance. It's gonna be in the appearance section, and here it is. But it guided me to the right place, just a little bit of troubleshooting or reading through everything else. But regardless, I'm giving a point to uh, ChatGPT on this one, since it actually includes the appearance. But now let's see how well it'll handle elusive images. You know, those weird images that's like one thing, but it's really another thing. Here, I'll give you an example. This creepy image right here. All right, what is this? Let's see if ChatGPT could identify the image. This image is a famous optical illusion that can be perceived in two different ways. At first glance, it appears to be a detailed sketch of an older woman, often referred to as a hag with a large nose and a fur shawl. However, with a shift in perspective, the same image can also be seen as a young woman looking away over her right shoulder, with her chin and nose forming the older woman's nose and eye. This type of illusion is known as a bistable image, where two different interpretations can be seen, but usually not at the same time. It's a classic example often used to demonstrate how our perception can be influenced by our brain's interpretation of visual cues. These types of illusions highlight the brain's ability to switch between different interpretations and are commonly used in psychological studies on perception and cognition. Okay, I'm quite impressed. I wasn't expecting to identify both images in there. Let's see how Google Gemini can handle. The image you sent is a black and white drawing that could be interpreted in two ways. The most common interpretation is that it depicts a woman standing next to a tree. However, it is also possible to see it as a man with a large beard and a prominent nose. This is a well-known optical illusion called the she's not alone illusion. Interesting. I mean, both got the same response. They both were able to identify the two images. Just Gemini is more bodish. Meanwhile, ChatGPT actually went into the details. So I'm giving, I feel more comfortable giving a point to ChatGPT. I was actually quite intrigued to find out additional information about this image. But now let's say, for example, you're changing your oil to your car and you're having a hard time identifying the oil filter. So let's see if we could use image detection to identify the oil filter location for us. So here's this photo I found with the oil filter right there. Let me ask it, where is the oil filter? All right, let's ask it. In the image you provided, the oil filter is the black cylindrical component located in the upper center of the image. 
It's attached to the engine block and has a hexagonal cap, making it identifiable as an oil filter housing for cartridge type oil filters. You would typically remove the cap to access and replace the filter element inside. This type of filter is often found in many modern cars, including those from European manufacturers. Hmm, not bad. It was able to identify it in the photo I, and also help guide you, even specify the cap that it's using and also gave you a tip about removing it. Not bad. Let's see how uh, Gemini does this now. Where is the oil filter? I can't tell you the location of the oil filter based on the image you sent. The engine is missing from the underside of the car, which is where the oil filter is typically located. The oil filter's location can vary depending on the make and model of the car. If you refer to your car's owner's manual, it should have a diagram that shows you where the oil filter is located. You can also search online for your car's make, your car's model, oil filter location. So it could not locate it within the image, but ChatGPT was had no issues identifying it and even specifying the location for you. So given the point to ChatGPT, especially when it comes to locating certain components in the car or in general, that's actually quite impressive. So yeah, quite an impressive outcome. Uh, real quick, if you guys like to pick up some uh, hotshot stickers too, I have them linked in the description down below. They're also a part of the little store. I'm experimenting right now, trying to figure out like cool merch to have available for you guys. If you have some ideas of your own, it could be apparel and stuff like that, feel free to comment as well. But I got stickers right now and they're live. But uh, yeah, just a fun little video I wanted to make. I was personally curious how well ChatGPT will perform against Gemini and I guess now we know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy your weekend. See ya.